Hola amigos, ¿quién o qué? Saludos otra vez desde Medellín. Un poco diferente al clima hoy, pero está bien. Entonces, um, hoy solo tengo estos cinco minutos, uh, muy ocupado hoy. Um, vamos a. Oh, estamos preparando por una, una cena familiar aquí hoy, so estamos haciendo muchas cosas en la cocina, arreglando el apartamento y todo. Um, so es el punto de hoy, es que cuando estamos en un día muy ocupado, con muchas tareas, es que, ok, no hay tam tampoco mucho tiempo para, por ejemplo, para leer eh, algo, pero puedes pensar bien y describir todas las tareas y el más detalle posible, pero en tu nueva lengua. Ese es el tema de hoy. So, here we go. Um, another lovely day here in Medellin. A bit mixed weather, but it's very nice. Um, and a busy day. Um, we're having a, a, a meal this evening with a lot of the family come to see us. So, we've been busy getting ready for that and uh, you know, tidying the house, all this kind of stuff. So, not really much time amongst other things we've been doing to do a lot of reading or studying today. But, one thing um, we can do, or I've been trying to do, is while we're doing these small tasks, um, which look quite mundane, quite sort of basic sort of stuff, but um, if you think carefully about it, you have lots of opportunity to use your new language to describe in detail, if you can, what you're doing. What you're doing, what you're looking at, what, what things are you moving. Um, you could describe the colours of things. So I'm, I'm washing up plates that, uh, that are white, that have a pattern, that, and I'm drying the plates, I'm putting the plates in the cupboard. I'm stacking the plates. I'm stacking the plates next to the cups. Yeah? So you can start using a lots of uh, words to describe either the action, the texture, the colour, the position. Um, you could still use expressions of time in the sense of I'm doing this first and then next I'm going to do this and after that I'm going to do this. Small things like that. So even in a situation where you're very busy with, like I say, fairly mundane kind of tasks, um, rather like I suggested before, when you're on a walk somewhere you can describe exactly what you see and try and use as much detail as you can um, of the things that are around you describe what you see how much detail can you put into it I mean I can see lots of houses roofs buildings apartment blocks trees I can hear the plane <laughs> it's going over there um, you know clouds different colors um, I can look at expressions like well I think it's going to rain maybe in probably about 30 minutes looking at that um, that's the kind of thing I mean so even when you're very busy with an otherwise uh, you know, fully occupied sort of day with, with general sort of tasks, um, see how much of it you can describe. Because this again, you're still practicing. It might not be ideal, I agree. It's obviously a little bit easier if we can just take some quiet time, read the books, a bit of practice, you know, that kind of routine with it. But often, well, I certainly found in the last uh, week or so, this is not always possible. Um, lots of other things are going on. So really, your only chance is to um, rehearse mentally what you would say to describe the things going on around you, the actions, the things you're doing, because that at least keeps you um, in constant contact with the new language, so you're never really forgetting it, um, and you're also getting ready to use it to describe the things and the actions um, in your immediate, uh, immediate surroundings. So that's the thought for today. Um, I hope you find that useful. Déjame saber en los comentarios if it helps you out. And so, uh, once again, from Medellin, on this uh, very interesting looking evening, I bid you uh, feliz noche and um, cheerio for now. See you soon.